Hey guys, welcome to From the Depths. Today I'm going to start a campaign for Quest for Neater. So let's just get right into it. So I've decided that instead of doing easy, easy, medium, hard, or very hard, I'm just going to go for a little bit in between. While I want a higher difficulty, I do enjoy starting in the bottom left of the map. So I'm going to use custom settings to make things a little bit more challenging. Definitely want to make the combat more challenging. And I don't want to get that many resources from destroying enemies. I'll leave that probably 0.1 so I get something. Well, here we are. Home sweet home. That's actually what it's called, right? Uh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, home sweet home. Okay, Perfect. So we're here. So in this campaign I already have a bunch of pre-built stuff. Like I have um, plenty of ships, uh, bases, I might build some more, but I think mostly I'm just going to use all my pre-made stuff for this one. Um, first things first, though, got to scrap this guy right here. Receiving. And then I'll give myself all the starting materials we get. So the first thing I should do is just build a satellite. So let me get one of those things up. There we go. This way I can see a lot more. I'm not really sure how much to explain, but essentially what this here is, let me put these forces into play. This right here is a satellite um, that I made, it's just a bunch of balloons connected to uh, these dish pieces. And as it goes up into the air, I'll be able to see more area. So you can see that the uh, range I can see is expanding as this thing goes up. But the second thing I want to build is actually something a little bit cooler. It's going to be our starting ship. I call it the attack of. You'll see why. Or maybe not, I don't know. I just thought it was a cool name. Okay. Now let me load it. And there it is. The attack of. Bleak, quick. And for the cost, it's actually amazing. Um, I think it costs about yeah, 45,000 materials. It's got six missiles on each side. And it does... You know, it does pretty well early on, to be honest. I could probably just spam these at most factions, and I could probably win the game with just this craft alone, but that's not much fun. Oh, I just want to say, like, I'm not an expert at this game, um, by any means. I've played it quite a bit, um, probably watched a lot more of it. So I'm, I'm okay, but you know, I, I'm not, like, the best builder or anything, and I, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Okay, let's let's pull these because I don't want it to be wasting fuel everywhere. Let I'm me. going to send my first attack of to capture another territory. So the very beginning of this game is it's pretty simple. It isn't um, not a lot happens at the start. It's just capturing these basic four squares around your base. Oh, you know what? This is actually the first time I'm playing a campaign with a new diplomacy update. So essentially, once this countdown runs out at the top. Uh, all the factions, you know, uh, that are spread out th throughout this map are going to be called to a meeting to select who's going to fight who or declare w war on who um, for the rest of the game. But for now, just got to capture territories. Listening. Let's put this guy Moving here. Out. We're actually getting a lot of resources. I might make another, another attack of, actually. I think after I make this vehicle, I might call the meeting early just because there's... I can't do anything else unless I'm in war. That was another part of the new diplomacy update. You can't actually attack anyone unless you declare war on them. I think it's interesting. However, I mean, you'll see more as we get into the video how it works. The only part I don't like actually is the um, commodities part. I still think that could use some work. I think it's kind of weird to have some options that make it so you lose commodities, but I feel like you don't really... I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. I am a little worried though. I don't want to declare Moving war out. on Moving both out. the Onyx Watch and the Deepwater Guard this early. I hope I have some good options. Okay, I know we still got about 30 minutes until the meeting's call, but I think I'm just going to call it early because there's nothing else I can do at this point. I could sit here for 30 minutes gathering materials, but uh, it's kind of boring. So let's call the meeting early. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Lead war against the Onyx Watch, and I'll get a lot of resources. I can actually use my new ship I, be, uh, I built re recently. Lead war against both the Deep Argon and the Onyx Watch. 
that just doesn't seem worth it um, if I had this top option. I don't know if I can take on both factions at the same time. This one's interesting. Lightning Hoods and Deep Water Guard. And I get some commodities. That's not bad. This top one is very tempting though. Um, to take out the <clears throat> take out the Onyx Watch first. Screw it. I'm gonna do it. I'm declaring war against the uh, Onyx Watch. Okay. This is odd. I usually go for the Deep Water Guard first, but I guess this will make things interesting. Okay, I'm gonna send out my two doves. Moving out. To capture some territories. Listening. We're moving out for battle. Weird. That color shouldn't be that. Hold on. But uh, the color I chose is uh, white and gold. I just kind of look. I just kind of like the look of white and gold. Um, I don't know. I know it's the same color as the Twin Guard, but they won't be around for much longer. <laughs> so I don't know. I just I just think it looks so nice. Um, but yeah, I'm so proud of this uh, this ship. It only costs forty five thousand, but it's got twelve missiles total. So that's a good amount of damage. It's got two torpedoes in the back right here. It's got a um. What's the distraction stick, I guess? Uh, this shoots out in the back and it makes other missiles go towards it. But I mean, I don't know, like overall it's... Oh shoot, I just... I didn't realize I was spending the commodities I, ha I had. I think we're gonna do pretty good. So far, capturing two territories. I think I'm just gonna try and take this territory as soon as possible, because getting two resource zones would really help out a lot. Doesn't look like the Onyx Watch has any um, offensive um, ships in the area. So I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to start building my new ship. So this is something I just built recently. I'm surprised I can actually get it um, in the game this early. It doesn't have a name yet. I just call it New Test Hover. Uh, you kind of saw a sneak peek of it, but it's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, so we'll just let that build up. I'll let the two doves attack for now. Two attack doves, you know, they may not cost very much. But these guys are actually pretty good. Um, I think I'll be able to take this with just the two of them. Even though that is... Costs about three attack devs, but I think I can still win. I've also not decided if I want to um, allow capturing vehicles in this campaign. It's a little bit cheap to jump on an enemy ship and then just shoot the AI out, but I don't know. I do like resources. First battle, let's go. Okay, so as of right now though, uh, the battle sizes aren't too big. I think for the future, I probably don't want to go too much higher than 50,000 materials. Um, just because of lag. Uh, but for now, I think we should be fine to do as many ships as we want. Um, I'm thinking just one attack div down here, one here. Uh, pincer, pincer maneuver. <laughs> you can look at the uh, volume way lower. Okay, let's see. Got my two doves moving in. First volley of missiles. Ooh. Brutal. That is brutal. And these ships are pretty quick, so I don't know if the cam cans are going to hit them too easily. This will be a perfect time to drop down, but... I want to let the fight go on a little bit longer. Ooh, another... Oh! Crap. Oh, God, I lost 15% health. Oh my god. That's brutal. Hold on. Pause the game. Did that take out the engine? Yes, it did. Okay, so the way these things are designed is I have the engine front, I have like uh, all the ammo storage in the middle, and I have the AI in the back. So if it gets hit hard anywhere, the ship goes down automatically. So, I mean, you have to remember, it is still a cheap ship. That being said, it does have repair box. So hopefully, if the engine gets repaired, it can get back in the action. I still got one left though. Seems like being directly above it. Weapons are still online though, even though it can't move. This thing's a big, a big resource gatherer though. Got a lot of health, it's gonna take a lot of missiles to take it down. Come on. There we go. Okay, it's gonna take some time, but I think I'm gonna win this fight. Okay, 91 health. This thing is almost repaired up. It's amazing that it's still fighting in the water. Oh crap. Okay. Didn't do too much damage, just hit the uh, back of the weapon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so close. It's just, this thing has so much health. AI is right here in the central tower. Um, my torpedoes are EMP though. 
So if my torpedoes can hit right here, um, I'm not sure that's going to happen though. If the weapons go offline though, I will just capture it though, just to make things go a little bit quicker. The tactics are pretty good though, you know, this was a, I was down on materials for this fight. It's a shame one got knocked out so easily uh, in the very beginning. Yikes, that looked bad. Oh, no way. It's still able to fly it. I don't know. It's amazing. Two direct hits with cram cannons. Okay, the other one's back up in the air. Perfect. Since we were in a tile just one square away from our territory, we were able to repair. Both attacktives are wounded. A lot of materials being spent. I accidentally hit F5 again. Oh, we won. I didn't even notice. Perfect. Nice. Victory. This one's kind of limping a little bit, but still a victory. First battle of the war. Listening. And we win it. Nice, okay. Repair is good. Listening. I'm just going to split this fleet again. I'm going to send Listening. one over here to capture this Moving tile. Um, just to get more area. I'm also going to send my satellite Moving up out. a little bit farther. Luckily, um, we're doing kind of a quick attack, so... I don't know if the Onyx watch is going to have time to react fast enough. Once this thing's built though, I think I should be set. Um, to be able to take out most um, medium, hard level ships the Onyx watch has. Against some of the Gali designs, like the Bulwark and the Trebuchet, I'm not too sure about it, but this thing's pretty cool. It's not even like, you, you, you guys will see actually, I don't want to talk about it too much. The spear is getting a little close for my liking. You know what? Listening. I'm gonna Moving intercept out. it. I'm sending in the dove. To be honest, one volley Listening. should be enough to take out a spear. Got 5,000 volume. Wow. Did not think this thing was that big. Okay, first volley of missiles going in. Nice hit. Oh, you do have a turret. Yeah, that's not gonna hit me. Another good hit. Torpedoes are closer this time. EMP. Did not hit the AI. Did take out some detection though. Yep, mainframe turret is offline. Okay. The transmitter was taken off of the mainframe. EMP is one of the most overpowered things in this game. Hits the right spot. Entire giant ships just get taken out just like that. Hard hit. The AI is probably right in there. Ah, there we go. EMP AI hit. Perfect. Another successful attack by the attack though. Perfect. Okay, things are going great. Now that I have two resource zones, I need to find a way to bring resources from down here uh, all the way back up here. I might actually have enough resources with these two doves to build my cheap gatherer. So it's only about 25,000 resources, but it's enough to gather this stuff. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Listening. Moving out. I'm send you back. Listening. Send you, you here to capture this territory. I'm gonna send this dove and then this dove back over here to start building a resource gatherer, so I can utilize this resource zone. We'll see. We don't know what's going on up here. A lot of resources are getting fun funneled up, so I hope there's nothing too crazy Listening. over there. But for now, time to build another resource zone to help with the attack dove. So it's not quite finished yet, but this is it. It's like a little egg with some resource gatherers on it. It just sits in the middle, resource zone, collects resources. I mean, it gets the job done. And that's really all that matters. I would like to build an actual fortress at some point. Oh, what's going on up here? Cauldron, uh oh. Okay, they got some actual attack vessels coming in. What to do about this? How many resources in these doves? Got some. Listening. I might just keep capturing territory, to be Moving honest. Out. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna send these Moving out. out. And then I'm gonna build a cargo dove. <laughs> and no, not all my ships are doves. This is just, I only have two. All I did was uh, repurpose um, these attack doves and turn into a cargo vessel. Definitely the Onyx Watch and the Deepwater Guard are the two easiest factions for sure. After that, I think um, White Flares and Twin Guard are up next. I think the Twin Guard's probably a little bit easier. Um, Oh god, what's happening now? Okay. Ah, uh, they got- okay, this is not good. I gotta get to the next resource zone quick. 
but first let's get the uh, cargo dove gang built. So as you can see here, <laughs> this here is the cargo dove. <laughs> it's just the uh, normal attack dove except instead of guns it's just got a bunch of cargoes. Still got the torpedoes though, so it can still defend itself against ships. Um, it's not the most creative idea, but it really gets the job done. I'm going to set up a route between these two uh, resource zones. I want to bring cargo from this one I captured down to this one here. Okay, let's continue getting territory, you know? So if you don't know, if you uh, Moving right click, you uh, tell ships to go that direction. But if you shift right click, Moving out. you add a second path. Like you can just like Moving shift out. right click Moving wherever out. you want Moving and out. it follows the exact path you're going to go. Moving out. But another thing you can do Moving out. is you see this little um, circle here when I hover over a destination. If you right click on it again, it creates a loop. So this thing's just going to go back and forth. Um, and since I set the cargo to 1 and the creator to 2 over here and then this one to 0, it'll take from the lower ones and give it to the higher. You know what? I'm going to intercept it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send the satellite Moving to capture out. the territory here instead. You know Lifting. what? I think one dove can do Moving it actually. Out. I'm confident. Screw it. Oh, this is probably a bad move. Oh god, what am I doing? I should have brought both doves, this is just Lifting. stupid. Okay, I'm gonna attack here and then fly the <laughs> get out of here afterwards. Come on. Oh, it's got missile defense. No! Oh my god. There we go, okay. Take out the anti-air? I think it did? Okay, perfect. So it's only got the- What hit me? Oh my god! What happened? They hit me! Oh my god. This is the biggest mistake I've ever made. Oh, I'm too far. He cut the dove in half! You know what? I think one dove can do it, actually. I'm confident. I underestimated this guy. Oh my god. Oh, this is terrible to watch. Oh god. I gotta retreat. This is not good. I, I'm... Oh no. <laughs> I underestimated that so Moving bad. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my god. I don't even know what to do. Moving out. Okay, I, I guess I'll start repairs, but oh god. Are you almost ready? Almost, but not quite. <sighs> this is not good at all. Okay, I gotta be honest, the Onyx watch prepared a lot quicker than I thought it was. I might be in trouble here. Okay, screw it. I'm. I don't think I can Lifting. capture this in time. They're they're gonna make it back. I don't want to make them angry. I'm just gonna. Moving out. Lifting. Start repairs on the other dove, and then. Lifting. And bring the satellite back. Moving out. Moving out. It's a shame. It's a good move by the Onyx Watch. Like I was saying before, you know, I'm not an expert at this game. Ah, oh, this is so bad. And it's two of them, you know. If it was just one of these. Uh, uh, the redoubt and the parapet, like if, if it was just one of them, um, I could take them out, but both of them? I don't know, I kinda need them to split up. Man, they cost so much, around 200,000 each. Oh, you know what? Okay, this is a risky move. Um, but I'm gonna send Lifting. one attacktive down here, and then just demolish it. Moving out. Screw it, nope, I'm, I'm sending them both. Lifting. I need the resources. Wait a second, no I don't! What am I talking about? I have commodities. Moving out. Both of you stay here. Just give myself a bunch of commodities. Let's just do a whole bunch. I don't, I don't know how much I need. If you remember from the, um, what was it called? The, uh, I don't know, the, the conference meeting? I got 230 something commodities for declaring war against the Onyx Watch. So, perfect. I need this so bad. Okay. Are you done? Oh, you're ready. Okay, you're going down. Moving out. Okay. I'm going to take out the one that costs less, so that's you. Hopefully Moving I can out. win. I don't know what the redoubt looks like. Um, Moving out. I'm just going based off Moving material out. cost. Okay, let's go. New test hover Listening. versus the redoubt. Okay. This thing's pretty sick, I gotta be honest. Just pause the game. Look at it. Inspired by the coffin nail from the deep water guard, if you know, but it essentially it's got a turret on the bottom and it's got eight sets of eight missiles 
So there's 64 missiles total. Um, and its goal is just to hover over the enemy and shoot 64 missiles at them. What's this thing though? Ooh, that's not good. Those look like some powerful cram shells. It's okay though, I got a lot of heavy armor on this thing, so hopefully if I'm quick enough, I can get out of the way. The shell itself is just an armor piercing round. Kinda missed it, but first volley was a success. Oh, yeah, there we go, came back. There we go. They're not the most agile missiles. Ooh, that's brutal. That is brutal. Oh, your Onyx Watch doesn't stand a chance against this thing. And two damage. Turn off. Ooh, a big explosion. Got destroyed. Love this thing. I just love how balanced it is. It's one of the few ships I have that actually stands still. Um, it's amazing. Awesome. Let's go for the next one. There we go. Okay, 96. I made it. This one's gonna be close though, because we cost about the same. It's 240, 240. Yeah, pretty much identical costs. Uh, so it's gonna come down to just better design. Also got a lot uh, bigger volume than me, so a lot of my cost goes into the missiles. As cool as this thing is, it does have some weaknesses though. Oh back on. Oof. Duck between those. What is this? We're actually like similar style ships. Oh, it's just a floating castle. That's so cool. Oh, I feel like I've seen those before. Uh, I think the Bulwark has some of those cram cannons. Okay, so it's got two huge cram... Oh, look at that. It's designed to shoot things below it, so this is actually a great match for me. We're both like designed to get above our enemy and then shoot them down, but... Oh, there we go. You're it's done for now. I need a name for this thing though. So if you guys have a name for it, um, I don't know. Oh, crap. Okay, taking out a missile, missile silo. Almost took out the thrusters, but just some external damage. Nothing internal yet. To be honest, this um. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god. Get back above this thing. Holy crap. The shell I have isn't anything like um, special, it's just armor piercing round. Do have a shield. Oh, well, there goes my cannon. Um, ouch. <laughs> but lots of heavy armor on this thing. I'm surprised it still flies. Get above it. God. I would not want to be uh, a ship against this thing. It's taking so many hits. And it's still up in the air, I don't know how amazing. Oh crap, another big hit. Missile system down. Am I, am I going down? Altitude is dropping quick. I'm good though, I'm still good. This thing's got a lot of armor, it's not gonna get taken down that easily. Oh, look at all those missiles. I didn't think it was gonna be this close, I thought I was just gonna win easily, but no, this thing's pretty good. Was this the parapet? I think. Yeah, let me check. Yeah, the parapet. 60 health though, it's over though. I'm still at 97. It's down to 60 health. I don't know how it's still in the air. Usually, most ships, when they get like below 80, they just fall out of the sky. Let's finish it. This should do it. If they can hit. Don't hit me! Oh my god. I should probably make these more agile, to be honest. I think it's over. It's gonna be... Yeah, below 80 health and sinking. You fought well, Parapet. But... My new hover test... <laughs> takes victory. Okay. Awesome. Perfect, okay. Uh, another one, okay. I can definitely take those out. Onyx Watch is in trouble for sure. Unless they produce like a trebuchet or a bulwark. 
Um, I think I'm in good shape. Looks like this cauldron is trying to take this territory. I'm just gonna moving out. play a little defensively right now. I don't want to lose this, so I'm gonna go for the cauldron. I don't want to fight both the cauldron and the redoubt at the same time. Let's get some revenge for our fallen detective. I want revenge though. I destroyed one of my precious doves. Now, I will destroy you. Hopefully. Look at that. Perfect. That's what this thing was designed for, you know? Designed to take out slow ships, go right above them. Oh my god, awesome explosion. Absolutely amazing. Oh crap, I got hit. Nothing too bad. Man, another huge hit. I should probably stagger the missiles a little bit more. Um, Cause sometimes the explosion of the first missile knocks all the other ones back. But I think uh, it also helps against munition defenses if they all come at once. And that's that. This ain't no attack though. It did take some damage though. Oh, you wanna you wanna go again? Okay, hold on. Moving out. I'm actually kind of running low on resources with this thing. I gotta let it heal up as well. You know what? I'm feeling confident. This thing is so good. It can take out both of these. I should probably have waited for the doves Listening. to get in for support, but um, I think I can do it. Um, yeah, yeah. There's not even like very many defenses on that. Okay, I can win this easily. What we got here. Horse, turn on weapons. You're in trouble now. Oh, dang it. You got the... Yeah, you got a lot of my missiles. Probably like more than half of them. Didn't even go for the ship. Oh, they're coming back though. Can't dodge those. Ow. Luckily, this thing doesn't have any critical points. Um, the AI is located on the top, um, so I guess that wouldn't be good, but it's got heavy armor and EMP defense up there, so I think this fight's over. Love this thing, it's just so cool. Definitely huge props to the uh, whoever made the coffin nail, you know, this, this style of design um, was definitely inspired by that. Um, of course, I went my own like route with it. AI should turn off once the enemy is too low. Now it's going after this thing. Well, say hello to my friends over here. I love missiles. I gotta say, you know, if there's one weapon, you know, I would use all the time would be missiles. They're kind of expensive, but they get Moving results. Out. Moving out. And just like that, the entire Onyx Watch attack force has been wiped out. You know, I'll give the enemy a chance to regroup, actually. I'll probably make um, this here my new main facility. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to send my doves out, Moving out. Um, just to scout ahead. I'm going to move my satellite Moving. up a little bit more. I don't Moving really out. need to see what's going on down here anymore. I would like to get... Yeah, a proper fortress at some point, um, but for now I'm just going to use these everywhere. And I'd also like to get a proper cargo vessel, um, but you know, those things take time. So here's the main fortress, um, 475,000 materials. I don't think I can actually beat that. Um, even with two doves and then my new hover, uh, it's got a lot of cram shells, so... Well, this thing's got a lot of heavy armor. It's not invincible, you know, enough of enough hits, it will take it down. Plus, it doesn't, like, maneuver around very much, so it's going to get hit a lot. Maybe, it'll, it's just so big, this, uh, this Onyx Watch Throne. I think I need maybe two of these, or, like, another, or something else. Maybe just a bunch more doves to take that out. Um, probably, like, eight doves to take on the throne. But I'll, I'll let the, um, I'll let them fill up.
I want the Onyx Watch to throw everything it's got, you know, I want a good fight. I don't know if there's a more efficient way to set up cargo routes, this is just what I do. Uh, I think it works fine, you know, if, if something works, just go with it, I guess. Oh, another parapet and a glaive, what is that? Interesting. I remember correctly, the glaive has a lot of um, missile defense. Parapet was a little bit tough. Um, as long as I don't lose this ship, <laughs> if I lose this, it's over for me. I put all my materials and all my um, commodities into this. You know what, if I didn't have that commodity bonus, I could be in trouble now, to be honest. Are you trying to attack me? Hey, I was going to let you go around, but if you... I can't let this thing just like... Yeah, why you... Okay, it's attacking me. Listening. That was a mistake. I don't know Listening. what you're doing. You can't win. Am I? Oh, okay. Well, it's dead anyway. And I'm no longer capturing this thing. Great. It looks like the parapet wants a rematch. Um, I mean, if you really want one, I'll give it to you, but it's your loss. I might not be able to repair if the battle goes too far north. So let's hope it stays um, in this square. Weapons on. I like how it drops down in the beginning. Um, I think it's just because I set the altitude too high at the start. But it really um, makes all those initial cells just miss. Oh, that seemed like a lot of big hits. Hold on, let me, let me see the damage here. If you guys hit um, the negative sign or the plus sign on your keyboard, you can set the speed to be lower or higher. There's a lot of outer damage. It doesn't look like anything important. You lost 9% health though, so you're clearly not doing so well. Keep forgetting to turn this thing off. It just makes the battles look so much better. Oh, hoo -hoo. had that hit, um, could have been in trouble. Um, this is kind of a flaw in my design, but located next to the AI is all the um, the ammo storage. I just had nowhere else to put it, so I put it next to the AI. So a whole bunch of cram shells like right here could just take out both the weapons and the AI um, in one shot. Of course, without ammo, both my missiles and my turret can't fly, so. I said I didn't really have any weak spots, but that's definitely a weak point. And if this thing could just get above me, I would be in trouble, but it can't. I still have radar, so I can still, yeah I got radar detectors all the way up here, so I can probably, yep, I'm still very accurate with the hits, even though I lost my main detection. This is just a bad matchup for the Onyx watch. It's brutal. Ow. Just a scratch. Not even really, that's... Okay, I definitely make make these missiles uh, missiles more agile because they work at this range. Like they're perfect here, but like when the enemy is like right below us and it's this close in height, it's really not good. But how does this thing stay in the air? It's at 60% health. I don't have any ships that 60% health they can stay up in the air. I mean, this thing does pretty good. I think even at 70 health, it's still in the air. But 60, that's just it's almost half the ship gone. There we go, two damage. That means it's below 50% health. Love this thing. It's absolutely amazing. Like it's got tons of weaknesses, but it's just so cool. The the concept of I just love the look and the concept of it. It's it's just so different from what I usually build. Um you guys haven't seen these, but I, I usually build um I might build them into the campaign a little bit later. Um but I usually build ships that have a lot of front armor and sort of just point at the target and uh try to like just take hits in the front and then deal lots of damage back at them. I think I'm going to build two more attack doves. Start building an assault force for the main throne. So I think I actually might be able to take out the Onyx Watch pretty soon. Uh, using just doves and then the um, uh, the hover. Which I need a name. I really need a name for you. 
Moving out. Moving I wonder out. if two doves can take out the glaive. I have EMP torpedoes, and this thing's pretty slow. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send this thing down here to capture that furnace in that resource zone. I'm going to send Listening. three doves. I think Moving three out. doves should be more than enough. I'll send you Listening. to capture more resources. Moving out. I'm going to bring this satellite a little bit lower. Moving out. Even though I don't need to see what's down here, um, I just like being able to see the whole map. It should be actually a pretty even battle. Listening. If the glaive is what I think it is, it has a lot of missile defense, so... I mean, I got a lot of missiles coming at it. 12 Listening. per dove, so that's Listening. 36. Still a lot less than the um, hover, but... Okay, let's see what the glaive is. Let me pause the game. Yep, it's exactly what I thought. So it just got um, one advanced cannon here, which actually is not good. Um, I don't like advanced cannons. But right here, I believe, is the laser defense? Yes. Yes, laser defense. That's right. So maybe three doves can do it. I might get taken out. Advanced cannons are not good against the doves. Yeah, that's pretty good laser defense. It's not, not amazing, though. Ooh, that hurt. Looks like just outer damage, though. Oh, it also works as an attack? Yikes. This thing is an anti-air vehicle. Well, EMP torpedoes probably knock out a lot of that um, laser defense. Turret offline. Holy, holy crap. Weird, you know, these doves, I've used this craft for so long, yet they still amaze me, like, how good they are. Um, like, this ship right here, it was made against anti-air. You know, it was made to take out things like this. But it just, you know, no match. Perfect. I gotta say that Onyx Watch, Listening. the Working end out. is near. Listening. I want to give the Onyx Watch a chance to send one of its godly class vehicles. I think the Pirate Pet might be a godly class. Maybe it's just hard. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give it a chance though. Another Pirate Pet. It's a shame. Um, I might even use the attack doves actually. I don't think I need to send my hover back. I think if I get five attack doves, um, that should be more than enough for the Pirate Pet. Maybe. Okay, we got five doves. Okay, good. The uh, resource count isn't too big. Okay, let's just try to surround it, get Listening. attacks from all sides. I'm gonna Listening. take a central position. All craft respond in. Nice. Big explosions. All doves at 100% health. Second volley. One dove got hit pretty bad. And the front engine is still intact though. Oh crap. Okay. It's okay, they got repair tentacles, they'll heal each other. Nice, okay, these things are good. Um, they're not gonna work against every faction. Um, they do have a little bit of smoke defense, but lasers and EMP are not good against these things as well. Oh, wait a second. The next meeting's about to be called. I think I can do this battle right before the meeting is called, though. I think this should be a pretty easy win. It's it's amazing how you can build ships, walk in them during battles and everything, but it's just like everything going on, especially if it's happening at multiple ships at the same time, just causes immense lag. Still so cool though. Did I even get hit? Did I even get hit once? Wow. I think I'm gonna capture this and then I'm gonna refuel and then probably join the doves for an assault at their um, main base. Now well, this is interesting right here. Join the deep water guard against war with the onyx watch and the twin guard. And a lot of commodities as well actually. Um, ooh. 
lead war against the Deep Guard and the Onyx Watch. Onyx Watch, to be honest, is almost dead. Like, with the forces I have remaining, I could probably take it out. I mean, I could focus all of my attention onto the Deep Water Guard. That's a lot of commodities. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. I think it could be interesting to take on the Twin Guard, but I find it's more fun to get rid of the Deep Water Guard early. It's just such an easy faction, and even like as the game goes on, they never really get that powerful. So, Plus, there's a lot of commodities here, so I might be able to build something even bigger. Yeah. Perfect. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, next time we'll pick off, we'll pick up white, uh, right where we left off. Um, just for some reason, my my speaking has gone downhill. Um, so once my brain's more refreshed, we'll give this um, another shot and hopefully take on, finally finish off the Onyx Watch and then maybe even finish out the Deep Water Guard. They are supposed to be the easiest faction, so it might not take very long to take them out. So. See you guys next time.